<clears throat> Joshua, I want to just get your opinion on what's the implication <clears throat> for Texas if we include the language of weaknesses. I th there's, there's already been some discussion. Some people have been speaking about the, the, um, the nature of textbooks as they stand now, where basically they've been carving out a section of it and saying, we'll call this strengths and weaknesses. Because it's, not, it's language that's not scientifically very meaningful. It's hard to know what someone is looking for when they say strengths and weaknesses. Is a gap in our knowledge a weakness, or is it just something that's exciting and it's something that we don't know yet? That's not, uh, scientists don't regard that as a weakness. But a lot of times we hear something like that being presented as a weakness. We can't explain the origin of life, so that's a weakness of evolution. I'm not sure that that's, that's fair. So the language that's in the standards now, the analyze and evaluate language, is much more accurate. It, it gives a lot more, it, lets, it, do, it means that textbook publishers don't have to sort of invent weaknesses just to fulfill that requirement. It means that they can write about science as it's practiced and as the scientific community understands the terms. Part of my concern at this, at, at this stage with the language strengths and weaknesses is that it's become such a code word that restoring that could be taken as a sign by textbook publishers and by other people that they ought to be watering down their te the Texas edition, at least, of their textbooks. And that that would leave Texas students a step behind other states where the textbooks are being written just to reflect the accurate science and not in, with these political considerations in mind. I think a lot of the focus today has been on that strengths and weaknesses language, and my hope is that you'll, you'll let the decision you made in January stand. I'm, I'm very concerned. I think that the strengths and the, the language that was inserted, the new 8A in uh, Earth and Space Science, the, a new amendment, uh, TEKS 4 in Earth and Space Science, and the new amendment 7B in the biology TEKS are things that, that really do move the, the TEKS back a level, and that, that could really undermine the quality of biology education in Texas. And that's something where in, in 2005, the Fordham Foundation was, was generally satisfied with the way that evolution was treated. I think that they're going to have a very different assessment um, the next time, if, if this language were to stand. I think that they would be very worried about it. But that. I still, I would argue, and I'll just close with this, I would argue that it would still be I'm in favor of strength and weaknesses. I haven't changed that. Right. No one's convinced me why it should be taken out. I argue either way it's to be a world-class document, but I argue for students it'd be better with strengths and weaknesses. Okay. Well, we'll move on. Thank you. Thank you.